Hello everyone, Petit Gas here, and uh, in this video I'm going to teach you how to install the Sonic Forces Low End mod because uh, this uses an unusual style of installation uh, method, an unusual installation method, and uh, so because of that I'm going to um, teach you how to install it. So the first thing you need to do is to open the zip file that you download uh, on the release video. Then, uh, when you're at this stage, you first read the README text where it tells you pretty much all you need to know about the installation method, but it can go wrong sometimes, so um, do read it carefully. But as you can see, there's um, uh, one line that says the password of the archive is low end. So I'm going to copy this password, and then I'm going to extract this, I'm, I'm going to open this zip, and I'm going to paste the password that was on the readme the file. Uh, after that, you are greeted with all these archives, and you will need to grab all these archives and extract them to your disk folder in your Sonic Forces directory. So you can open Sonic Forces, so let's say uh, Sonic Forces, go to Image, X64, Disk, and this is where you, c you will extract all your uh, files. So let's drag them over here, they will extract... Um, yeah, this is one thing that can happen as well. Um, because uh, my antivirus is stupid, uh, it can block uh, some files that, will, that, we, that it will extract. So um, I do advise to at least un, um, uh, just uncheck the real-time protection of your antivirus while uh, installing the mod. Because for some reason it detects, detects sfpack.exe as a virus. So I, because, that, because that it got blocked. So be sure to uh, disable disable your antivirus before extracting the files. So just let me extract them all again, and uh, after that, you will you will have all these files uh, in your disk folder. So after that, you need to open the startier.bat file. So you open it, and it will say, "Warning: This will auto generate Sonic Force Low End mod with your game files and all of this stuff." So what this means is that it will generate um, the mod. Uh, with your game files. So if you press any key, it will uh, create the folder and it will extract, it will begin the generating process for the mod. Uh, so we just w you just wait until this is finished because this will take a lot of time uh, to finish. So I have already done this, so I can just close out of it, out of it, and just delete this. Um, anyway, and when it's done, it will say uh, that it is done. So um, after that, just press any key and it will exit, and you will have your mod inside the mods folder. So here it is, low end mod, the mod of and I, and if you go to this course patch, you have all these folders which were generated by the script. Uh, after that, you will need to copy the low end mod. So just just let's just uh, cut and move it to your normal mods folder where all your other mods are are installed. So in this case, my fold my mods folder is in build main projects exec and then I will need to go to mods and here they are all the mods that I have here so I'm going to paste it over here and now my mod is in here uh, after that you need to open edge mod manager which is my mod manager of choice you can also use Sonic Forces mod installer because as you can see uh, low end mod is listed over here and you can just type not here but low end mod and it will install the low end mod for you and on that as well, but it's much easier for you to um, enable the low-end mod on Edge Mod Manager than just save and uh, open the game, and it will work. Uh, to install the Edge Mod Manager, you can just check my Steam guide, which I will link in the description, uh, and you can easily install mods with it. Uh, now, <coughs> you might experience this stuff uh, while installing the, while generating the mod. Uh, so. In case your game stutters more, um, it's completely normal because um, at least this happens when you're using Edge Mod Manager because it's re redirecting the game to not look for its own CPK files but to look to the mods files. So that may cause some stutter uh, for some time. Just wait like one minute or two and probably or hopefully uh, the stutter will be gone. Uh, if your game looks like this after installing it, I really I really have no clue uh, as to why it looks like this, so um, it may be just a problem, but um, 
this problem of it. So um, if it looks like this, I, I really uh, advise you to rerun the generating process. But if it still looks like this, even after you, you generate the mod again, you can open this this thing and um, or this one. Where is it? I think it's this one. Yeah, there we go. Uh, you can open the, um, these two bat files over here. So if your game again, if your game looks like this, all black, you can right click the remove shadows first pass dot bat, click edit, and then uh, you can try out deleting all of this. Well, not this, this. Yeah, there you go. I think it's this one. No, uh, this line. So um, again, if it, if it's black, uh, you can try deleting this line and this line, this line is over here. Uh, because this will uh, um, not change the, sh the shaders from the, the level. So that might be causing you black textures. But uh, again, I'm really not sure why it caused that to some people. But if it does, just delete uh, these two lines and these two lines from Shadow's first pass and from Shadow's second pass. So again, these two lines over here and these two lines over here. Delete them and rerun the generating process, which again, you can do it by clicking start here. Um, again, if it looks normal, then just don't do this because it's a lot better if you just leave the shaders changed. Um, so uh, if your installation looks like this, then um, it means that the script cannot have privileges to run on your specific path. So for example, um, Imagine that you have your game installed on the C drive or in some other location that, re that requires administrator privileges. Uh, it cannot run there because it doesn't have access or privileges to run on that spot. So you might be thinking, um, I can just run the script as administrator. So do this and then click yes and then it will supposed to run. It was supposed to run, but uh, as you can see, it can't run because it gives another error and it doesn't or either it doesn't detect the CPKs or it gives us uh, no, not enough space error, uh, which I currently have enough space for it to install. Uh, this is a really easy fix. So first of all, we need to specify, we need to, um, well, open up the start menu and type in CMD. Uh, and then right click C the command prompt and click run as administrator. Then click yes and it will open the command prompt. Then you need to type the drive where your game is installed in. So in my case, it's in the E drive. So E2 dots. Uh, after this, you need to type CD space and the path to your disk folder in Sonic Forces. So uh, to do that, you click this blank spot on your disk folder. It will give you the path to the, that drive. Just right click, copy, and then on the command prompt, uh, just click Control V and it will paste the drive. Just click enter and you are now on that path with administrator rights. So uh, and now what you need to do is to type the name of uh, the install in the installation bat. So uh, which its name is hashtag or cardinal start year dot bat. And as you can see, it doesn't give us any other errors and it will, and it can extract the files uh, normally. So um, if you having these kind of errors, uh, you can just do that and it will hopefully fix your problems. Again, I'm going to close out of this because I already have done it. So I can delete this as well. Uh, in case uh, you're having all these error messages popping up while you're installing it, uh, it's completely normal. Just ignore those uh, because it's just trying to find stuff that it does, that doesn't exist really. So um, it, uh, it's part of the automatic process because as you can see, it's, it's trying to find out, to find the world 6A01 misc, but it has already been deleted, so I cannot find it, but uh, it's normal. Just ignore this and uh, it will be good to go. So uh, again, uh, once you have your mod generated, you can just uh, grab your mod, mod folder, which is this one, and put, put it on your mods folder, that edge mod manager or Sonic Forces mod installer, uses. Just, just put it on here and then you need to open your mod loader and just or enable it or install it. So I need to enable low-end mod and click save and then it's ready to install.
So um, let's just check in in game and see if the mod is working correctly. All right, so we are in game right now. So we just need to go to continue, and um, that will lead us to the world map. Um, as you can see, the loading icon is trying is, is starting to. Um, or the world is actually stuttering a bit, which I said it's normal because it's loading up uh, files from the mod folder and not from the CPK. So Edge Mod Manager is redirecting your files. Uh, the stuttering will be on the world map for some time, but then it will disappear. So as you can see, it's no longer stuttering as of now. Uh, so let's try going to a stage uh, and see if it's working. Let's try, um, let's see, Egg Gate. Why not? And then press continue and uh, it will lead us to the stage which hopefully uh, will not look as it would look on the normal game. Um, and there we go. Again, the game is stuttering a bit because as I said, it's trying to load on some stuff from the disk or from the mod folder instead of the disk CP case. But then again, it's no longer stuttering as of now. So um, we can play it normally and uh, everything is working. And now can we check that it's running and the mod is actually working? Um, as you can see, the enemies don't have uh, re reflections on them, so uh, it's just a, um, a blank color. So there's one uh, giving away factor. Uh, these rocks shouldn't sup you shouldn't uh, supposed to see it's their color. I think they were supposed to be blank. Um, so uh, again, this works just fine, just fine over here. Uh, about these boxes. Um, I should. Um, I still need to look for them on the files to disable their shaders and all that stuff, so that they look um, as bad as this, the the whole stage itself. So again, the mod is is completely working, as you can see. So uh, no errors, no anything. Um, again, the 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 hardest part of the mod is actually just uh, extracting all the files. And that's the longest process of it because, again, it's not a normal mod. It needs to generate it first, and then it will work on uh, on the game. Um, also, if you have a better PC on your house uh, or with you, and you want to generate the mod on that PC, you can do that. And just grab the files from Sonic Forces and drag them onto the um, the better PC, and it will generate the mod on that better PC, which is which may be faster, and then you can just grab the, gen the generated mod and put it on the mods folder from your game. Um, so that's pretty much it. I, I hope that you guys have been all cleared up about the confusion that was all the low-end mod installation process. And uh, if you have any questions, any, any doubts about anything about the mod, uh, throw them in the comments and I will try to answer them all. And uh, again, thank you all for being so supportive, guys. I really didn't expect for the mod to be like all this hyped up for you or something, but uh, I'm glad to actually be helping people running the this game on, well, bad PCs. Uh, so uh, yeah, thank you all for watching and take care.